Hey Eagles fans, I'm Thomas Mond. Welcome to Fiddle of Eagles Now. And yes, you guys asked, so we have another mailbag here today because we had a mailbag earlier, a couple days ago, and now we want to do one more for you guys because we had so many mailbag questions on a video last week, or on Monday, whenever the, that, that one was filmed. You guys have a lot of questions regarding the Eagles draft, the Eagles offseason. I want to answer them for you guys here. Let's go ahead and jump right in with Rohan Kumar, who asks, hashtag Eagles, would you rather the Eagles sign Logan Ryan to fill the second quarterback cornerback spot or Davion Clowney to fill the second defensive end? end spot do you think either is possible slash feasible so we talked about this a lot the past couple of days the eagles have money you know free agents are out there if you get one now there's no compensatory pick involved if you were to sign one of them and honestly we'll start with logan ryan i would love logan ryan there's it doesn't make sense why logan ryan is unsigned unless he wants ridiculous amounts of money he wanted 10 million dollars a year back in march if that hasn't come down then maybe that's why he's unsigned but to me still a very good cornerback now do the Eagles need him more than they need Jadavion Clowney? That's tough. You can go either way. If you think that Avante Maddox and Sidney Jones are going to be good this year, and I mean consistent this year because both of them have their little spurts, if you think they're going to be good, then no, you don't need him. If you don't think they're going to be good or only one's going to be good, then yes, him opposite Darius Slay or him in the slot with Jones opposite Darius Slay to me would be a very wise and very good option for Philadelphia at the right price. Now, is that better or more important than Jadavion Clowney? No, I would rather have have Clowney over Logan Ryan. It's the same case for Everson Griffin that's been talked about. I'd rather have a pass rusher over a corner right now because to me, you add Clowney to this, this Eagle defensive front and it is, excuse me, as good as it gets. I mean, that, that would be unbelievably great if the Eagles were able to get the Javion Clowney and pair him not only with Brandon Graham and Derek Barnett, but with Fletcher Cox, Malik Jackson, and Javon Hargrave. The Eagles would then have I mean, look around the rest of the NFC. I mean, it's easily the best defensive front in the NFC East and probably one of the best defensive fronts in the entire NFC. So either would be fine. They signed Logan Ryan of today. I think Eagle fans would be happy like uh, I would be happy. And if they signed Jadavion Clowney or Everson Griffin, I would be very excited as well. Quick ad break here on YouTube. Go ahead and pick. Which one would you like? R for uh, Logan Ryan in the comment section or C for Jadavion Clowney in the comment section as well. I'd rather have Clowney, but maybe you'd rather have Lo Logan Ryan. So let me know what you guys think down below. All right, moving on. More questions. Christopher Brennan. Christopher? Yeah, that's how you say his name. It's Christopher Brennan asks, do you think the Eagles will sign Carlos Hyde or LeGarrette Blunt or another power running back? Um, No, neither of them makes a lot of sense in terms of what, Philadelphia Eagle, what the Philadelphia Eagles want to do. I think they're going to run with this current running back spot. I think they honestly are very excited about Boston Scott. I'm not. I wanted a running back in this draft. You guys know that. But Miles Sanders, Boston Scott, Elijah Holyfield, Warren, the running back out of Cincy. I think they're going to go with that. Now, can they bring back Corey Clement maybe that'd be a good option in my opinion but I don't see them signing anybody else I don't see them trading for anybody else I think that they're very excited again with what they have and if you look at what Michael Warren did at Cincinnati he might be the next great undrafted Eagle free agent running back like you know added with Boston Scott adding with Corey Clement and you hope that he turns out again I wanted another running back but again I'm not the GM of the Eagles and so I can't make those decisions so I'm just hoping that Miles Sanders balls out and Boston Scott's final three games of last year are exactly what he did and are exactly will transit transition excuse me into a 2020 big season for Mr. B. Scott um who do you guys think will be the number two running back in Philadelphia in 2020? Is it going to be Boston Scott or will it be Warren? I mean, well, I think Michael Warren has a real shot to be a third down back and be a guy to come and get those short yardages like Boston Scott did last year. And I know Boston Scott's really small, but they still use them a lot on third and ones and goal line situations. Uh, if you want Scott to be the number two running back, type S. If you want Warren to be the number two running back, go ahead and type W in the comment section down below. Um... Let's see here. Next question. Julio uh, Vargas, he asked, with how the board fell, no trading up or down, who would you have drafted at number 21 and 53? Personally, I'd take Queens and Mims. I love this question. This is a great question. Okay. Okay. So no, no trading up or down. Exactly how the board fell. So who was available, I guess, at those picks? What would you have done? Okay. So picks 21 through 24. Let's refresh you. Uh, Eagles got Rager. Jefferson went uh, next. Uh, the Chargers got Murray. And then Cesar Ruiz went to the Saints there at number 24. So let's start there. Um, Honestly, if I was doing it all over again, knowing what we know now, I would have done Kenneth Murray at number 21 overall because the Eagles linebackers are terrible. And I don't know if rookies are going to do it. Undrafted free agents. I would have done Kenneth Murray. I know. Crazy, right? Didn't get a wide receiver, Thomas. How stupid. No. I would have done Murray there at number uh, 21, which is basically uh, similar to what you said. You said Patrick Queen, who's, of course, the linebacker from LSU. I would have done Murray. Um, and then going into the second round, we all know I would have done Jalen Hurts. I mean, come on. I would have probably done... 
a wide receiver. Now it was Hurts, Epinesa, Dobbins, and Davis were the next four taken in terms of after Jalen Hurts. I would have done a Denzel Mims, like he said. I would have done a Van Jefferson. I would have done a lot of different receivers at that spot over getting Jalen Hurts because then you would have gotten the linebacker who would, you know, I think and gotten your wide receiver and could have still gotten your speed demon wide receivers later on in the draft and of course trade for Marquise Goodwin that would have been a great overall one-two punch in Philadelphia I would have done uh, uh Murray and then I would have done a wide receiver although if you didn't want a linebacker I would have probably done Jefferson and then J.K. Dobbins if I had to do it all again as well so there you go that would have, that's what I would have done in Philadelphia what you should do because what I'm doing is subscribe to the channel here at Philadelphia Eagles now that way you guys are ready to go whenever I drop a brand new video so we're hitting almost 9,000 subs soon so be a part of the movement here as Philadelphia Eagles now is growing and in my opinion the best Eagle channel here on the platform um Rashi Zamora he asked can Hurts and Wentz really work as a duo in different plays <laughs> I don't know man I don't think so I I'm so tired of talking about Jalen Hurts because each time I do it makes me very frustrated but if I'm gonna play glass half full Tommy right let's go positive Thomas oh Jalen Hurts well, he ran the football really well at Oklahoma, so maybe he's going to be a combo where Wentz will hand it off to Hurts, like a jet sweep action or a read option action. Hurts will then run on the outside, and then he can either run or throw, right? Dual threat ability. That's the hope there. Man, I hope they work out because I think Philadelphia needs to go ahead and warrant this second round draft pick. But there's a very real chance that Philadelphia throws him out there, and it's just weird gimmicky plays that kill drive momentum and, you know, destroy your, your, your marching down a football field. We're all going to be mad. They'll be booing. I mean, I, they are best case scenario worst case scenario are right there in front of you I hope but I'm gonna be honest I would much rather just have Carson Wentz touch the football every single time he's the best quarterback on the Eagles roster for a reason they gave him 100 million dollars he's one of the best young quarterbacks in the league if you don't trust Carson Wentz then uh, I'm not sure why you're an Eagle fan but uh, I, I digress oh, let me ask you guys will Hurts and Wentz work together am I completely off on this one let me know in the comment section um how many more we got here okay we got time for one more let's do one more okay Seth Shifley he asked why dot 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 quit hating on the hurts pick look at the bigger picture too many fans are hooked on the short term not every player who gets drafted plays that's the reality hurts was the best player available at the need of backup quarterback research is key to understanding this pick love the hurts pick okay Jeez, uh, i gotta break this down i got a lot of comments like this by the way it's why i picked it for my final one here so look at the bigger picture let's just i'm gonna break this whole thing down what is the bigger picture is it jalen hurts being the starting quarterback of the eagles eventually if that's the case then two things have to happen in your big picture one carson Wentz gets hurt again and then you bench a guy going to the future who's going to be owed a hundred million dollars because you can't trade another if carson Wentz gets injured again you won't be able to trade him and get a good return right so you have a hundred million dollar injured quarterback on the bench right big picture then hurts will start now if it's just not going to be Carson Wentz getting hurt, if Hurst just eventually assumes the role, we're looking at two or three years from now. So the big picture is we don't care about 2020, 2020 apparently. We care about 2021, 2022, and 2023. I would rather, I don't know about you, I'd rather win a Super Bowl this year than a Super Bowl in five years. Okay, so let's just break down the big picture part. Someone says too many fans are hooked on the short term. What do you mean? This is the season that's up. 2020 is the season that is up. You want to win now, or do you want to go, we're preparing for 2024? Well, 2024 will be our year. No, the Philadelphia Eagles want to win now. That's dumb to think that they don't. Um, Not every player gets drafted plays. That's true, but every second-round pick in the NFL should play, okay? Every single one should play unless you absolutely whiff on that pick. It's very rare you take someone in the second round and go, all right, that's a guy we're going to play in five years. That's a guy, that's a three year from now, he's going to play, have fun sitting on the bench. It's very rare that that, that actually happens. Um, Hertz was the best player available at the need of backup quarterback. He was the best backup quarterback available. I'll give you that one. Um, uh, research is key to understanding this pick. What research? What two quarterback system has worked in the National Football League? Hint, the Eagles tried it way back during McNabb's final year. It didn't work. It didn't work. And they pushed McNabb out and they brought Vic in. It's a mess, guys. Listen, I get people wanting to look at the bigger picture, but I don't get wanting to go long-term with Philadelphia. I want to win right now if you're an Eagles fan. And to me, Hurts would have not... Hurts doesn't give us the best chance to win, whereas J.K. Dobbins or Van Jefferson or Denzel Mims would have been better, better for... Better, excuse me, better... For Carson Wentz, there we go, going forward 
into the future. There's my little eagle rant. I don't know. Listen, I hope it works out. I've said it before. No hard feelings against Jalen Hurts. Great quarterback. I've uh, obviously been a fan of his at Alabama, at Oklahoma. A great person on and off the football field. I would have just gone in a different direction. That is my final thought on Jalen Hurts. There you go. All time we have for today on Field of Eagles. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this double mailbag video we did for you guys. Uh, hopefully, the Eagles, again, will be good in 2020. That's the hope. Again, uh, signing off. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. See you later.